Hello everyone, so it is a Sunday and it is 27th August and it is currently 6.48 and I started off studying right now. I know it's a little late but yeah, it's a Sunday so yeah, it got a little lazy. And this is my to-do list for today. I actually have a history test tomorrow so I'll have to prepare for that. So I'm going to revise the chapter 2 of history and then I have my maths assignment So and then we'll do the introduction for statistics. Now this history chapter 2 revision is going to take a lot of time because it is a very big chapter even though I'm not going to do a whole chapter reading. I'm just going to revise my notes but still uh, to comprehend the whole thing it will take a lot of time and maths assignment will also require around one and a half to one hour. So yeah it is currently 18.49. So let's just put on a timer of an hour and we'll start off with the maths work only. So let's put a timer of an hour. Uh, this will end in 7.49. So yeah, let's start. So my math syllabus is almost over for my half yearly examinations like I only have the statistics chapter left and after that I'll have abundant amount of time for revising. And besides practicing and revising, I'm also trying to keep myself calm and I try not to get very tensed because when I'm tensed, I'll overcomplicate a very simple answer and when you just overcomplicate a particular answer, there are chances that you may not even get the correct answer. And th there, are, uh, there are times when I know the answer to this question and I know that it is very obvious, I can easily find a way to it but still in the examination hall because of the tense environment, because of the anxiety, I sometimes write the wrong things and I sometimes can't even comprehend. So that is why it is very important to be calm and that is something that I'm focusing on as of now as well. Yes, um, so I'll take a 15 minutes break. I'll go downstairs and feed Kaju Barfi. So yeah, I'll be coming after that. And my classmates were telling me that the chapter of circles is very boring and indeed it was very very boring. Like when I was on the verge of finishing it, when I was on the verge of finishing the NCRT, I was like why am I not done with it yet? And I, when I started doing the RS Agawal, it was just so 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 boring and as of now it is my least favorite chapter. Like triangles is also okay-ish, right? It is still a little interesting. But circles damn like this is such a boring chapter and there is nothing interesting in it there's nothing to calculate like there is literally nothing in that chapter i mean this is my opinion like what do you guys think do you guys find circles interesting because i actually don't find it interesting at all and same goes for my classmates because they literally told me that it is a very bad chapter and i just did not like it at all and here, after completing my maths assignment, I immediately started doing statistics introduction and I did not take a break in between because it was a very small portion. Done with my maths assignment and start, sorry, um, I'm done with my maths assignment and uh, statistics introduction. So the thing is that I've done part one of the introduction, I'm still left with the second part, but it's already very late, so I'll have to start off with my history uh, revision right so uh, right now i am going to take a break of 15 minutes right and i'll be back after 15 minutes and by the way this timer will end in 
टेन जीरो एट सो आई बी बैक एंड देन आई स्टार्ट विद माई हिस्ट्री चैप्टर टू रिविजन एंड आई नो दैट हिस्ट्री चैप्टर टू इज गिन टू लॉड ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज इट्स अ ह्यूज चैप्टर इवन इफ आई स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग फ्रॉम माई नोट्स इट विल टेक एन आवर लाइक मिनिमम इट विल टेक एन आवर सो या आई बी बैक आफ्टर फ्री मैथ्स टेन जीरो नाइन सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ हिस्ट्री सो फॉर रिवाइजिंग एस एस टी वेन आई डोंट हैव द लॉड ऑफ टाइम आई जस्ट लुक गो थ्रू माई नोट्स लाइक every single time because it is i won't say that it is very fast way because it will take a lot of time but it will not be as long as revising the whole chapter line to line like you'll get a very very detailed overview of the chapter and you'll also get all the dates all the important names full forms organizations and every single thing so that is why i believe that notes are a way more convenient manner but if you think that you find reading from the ncrt a better way or reading from some other reference book then that is completely up to you but uh, reading my notes is actually a way more convenient thing for me uh, 11:15 and i'm done with my sst revision uh, now this particular revision of the chapter 2 took me more than an hour like a few minutes more than an hour so we'll consider that as one hour and what i did was i revised my notes Okay, all the notes. I revise all of them, and these are not short notes. These are elaborate notes. Fine, and I read the last topic, which was uh, this: the sense of collective belonging in it. This one I read from the book. Now the thing is that uh, if you notice, uh, revising my notes took me more than an hour. Fine. Revising my notes took me more than an hour. Now just think, if I if I had revised from the book line by line, then just imagine the amount of time it would have taken me, right? And when you're doing revision, suppose you're revising this chapter three times or four times before the board examinations, you cannot, you will not always have enough time to devote two hours or two and a half hour to a chapter, right? so that is why this is the reason why it two and a half hour every single time you are revising right like right now i can't devote devote two hours for revising a chapter and this is the reason why i make notes if you make short notes then they are for more like a last minute revision so these are not short notes these are pretty elaborate notes and it took me an hour behind making notes there are three most important reasons first one is while you're making notes uh, your answer writing would be practiced second one is it will save your time fine and the third thing is these are point wise right every single thing is point wise so suppose you just want to read a particular topic like the participation of women in civil disobedience movement you can just read the points right and if you start reading from the book you'll have to read a whole paragraph notes the they are in the more organized way so yeah this was just why i practice notes um, and i've been doing it since like 9th grade no like in the middle of 8th grade i had started making notes not in the very beginning because at that point of time i did not have a lot of idea about notes so from the middle of 8th grade i had started preparing notes and throughout my whole 9th grade i made notes and in 10th grade also i'm making notes so this is exactly the reason why i make notes now if you think that this is not necessary then that is completely up to you that is your way of learning and i'm not forcing anybody if you believe that you don't need notes you can just revise the whole chapter in the same time then that is okay now so yeah that was it thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you next time bye 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 bye, bye.